Hey everyone and welcome back to 100 Baby Final Hope. Now I know it's been a little while. It's been actually quite a while. And actually one thing I've noticed is my game keeps, um, I have a cleanup program on my computer which keeps resetting my graphics and all of that in The Sims 3, so I'm going to have to fix that. I appreciate any patience you can provide me there. Fortunately, Toby has been, um, has been fixed. He is now, once again, a hybrid. Don't we love it? We love that. He's amazing. Um, and I put down a new elixir shop, so we don't really need it right now. But uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Christian spends a little too much time, I think, down in that... Uh, <laughs> in, um, yeah, down in the hot tub. Spa, sauna, spa, spana. Where can you go sleep, dude? Okay, let me check. I think autonomy's on. Let's see. Is your autonomy on? Uh, yes. So there we go. All of our kids are doing stuff. So Christian, I guess... Oh, you know what, Christian? You do you. You do you. The Elixir Consignment Shop might be open. Why don't you go there? I didn't rename it. It's by Ruby Sims, and they make some amazing properties, but I haven't used this one yet, so we're going to go see how that does. And I had the hiccups. So I'm just kind of letting Luna do her thing. Hopefully we do not have the single baby glitch. And actually, you know what? I'm going to have her stop doing the baby stuff right now so that we don't have any issues. Where is my thing? Because it's loud. What can you do which is going to make you enjoy life again? Because, boy, I don't really believe that you enjoy life all that much. Yeah, go away. We don't need you. She wants to put toys away. You do that. Go ahead. Put toys away. Live your life. Enjoy yourself. Okay, he's got school very soon. She's good. He's good. Kid, you need to eat. Eat up, kiddo kiddo. Come here, little baby. Go to this far one. Eat leftover cinnamon roll. It'll be delicious. Delicious. He's gonna be okay. She has to pee. Go pee. Don't pee yourself at school. That'd be embarrassing. Hoo-hoo, that'd be so embarrassing. Use the all-in-one bathroom. You don't need to go critique stuff. How you doing, Usagi? That's, uh, that's the sound of Kenny upstairs. What you're hearing. That thump-thump. Uh, you're gonna eat a quick meal of yogurt. Eat some yogurt. It's good for your digestive tract. Isn't that delicious? Okay, so... Let's see. I don't know if I want to satisfy any more wishes of hers either. Tobes, what are you gonna say? Show off new gizmo. Okay. Do what you gotta do. Toby, stop wandering around in your, your, uh, skivvies. Stop that. What could she do? Um, we do want a nice, healthy pregnancy. So let's have her come on down here and eat leftover mushroom omelet. And let's see what Christian is up to. Christian, how you doing? Vial of bliss. Okay, so this is the witch's potion shop. Yeah, see, I gotta, I've gotta set the graphics. Gotta set the graphics. I keep forgetting that I have these awesome ceiling beams. Look at this. Textures. Load, please. Now, I have never loaded this place before. So that's, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so we got a toy chest. This place is great. Ruby Sims, honestly, she, she, I don't know if it's a, it's not fair for me to assume that Ruby Sims is, is female, actually. Um, oh, this is cool. It's just put in there. Oh, this is so cool. This place is so cool. Oh, crap. That's the timer on, well, I have the timer set on my phone. That's my phone saying, hey, phone's dying. Might want to do something about that. Oh my god, this place is so, so cool. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Amaze balls. Okay, come here. Ooh, she's lovely. Mary Maloney. Oh, we know Mary. She was in my, um my Amazon challenge. Come on here and buy. Let's buy stuff. Create an elixir. You can do that at home. You can't have a career though, baby. Okay, she's going to get some food. I don't know when she's going to give uh, give birth. 
Hopefully relatively soon. The kids are all going to school. Head to school. Good job. Nice, nicely done. Now, of course, I should have Toby come do this because he gets, he gets a discount, but uh, I didn't. So, buzzing. Now, we're going to buy the Witch's Brew just because I wasn't able to get a hold of it. Um, Wish Enhancing Serum. I could try to have her drink that before she gives birth. I don't know how long it lasts. So that would be, that would be kind of a, a gamble. But we'll see. Let's do that. Alright, is she screaming because he's a scary, scary monster? Because that's unfair. He's not a scary monster. He's a cool guy. What's out here? Ah! Oh! Ah, uh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay, you need to head home though, dude. I'm too busy squeeing. What are you doing? Going to make the bed. You need to rest. Actually, I want to see how much longer she has before she gives birth. She's actually not that big right now. Um, so we're going to go Enros, Master Controller, Status, Relationship. So she has seven children so far. I know, um, I know I haven't done an intro for this. I'm very sorry. It's just been, um, like I said, since my surgery, everything has just been such a mess. I know you all love the intro, so I'm going to try to get one together as soon as possible. And I'm going to try to make it sound a little bit happier. Oh, she's only 41 hours long, so we're good. Um, I'm just going to try to make it as happy as possible. Not like, not super happy because I still think that there's, there's a tone of misery in this place. I mean, now they're in a... Now they're in a location where it should be, it should all be good, but it's really not. It's definitely not. Um, he just keeps missing school. Nope. Nope. What am I clicking? What am I clicking? Go to school. Go to school. And he's at school. Gonna have to start dividing them up among schools now. Now Christian is home and he's probably sleepy. Oh, he's just going to make the bed. Well, that's nice of you. Um, so... Hi. We're going to give her the Wish Enhancing Serum. And there we go. <laughs> the thrilling exploits of Luna Harlow. These about comic books. What are you doing, honey? What are you going to do? Talk to Tummy. Oh, most pregnant women I know are not fans of that. <laughs> It's like, would you stay away from my effing stomach? I will slap you and put you in the ground. And yes, the only one who hasn't had a, a uh, makeover yet is Mira. Okay, you know, well... Yeah, uh, you go... She's like, rude. You go rock in your chair. Because if I can get that wish-enhancing serum into her before she gives birth, that'd be amazing. It'd be so good. She does have a lot of points. We're going to try to save up for... The, um, yeah. For the, what's it? You know. The thing. The, damn it, my brain. We're going to try to save up for the honorary degree. Go to the day spa. We'll promise that for later, but that's not what we're doing now. She wants to improve her athletic skills, social networking. Oh, we need to get a guy over here, though. Um, let's look at the family tree really quickly. By whom has she been impregnated? So, do you not have a father? Oh. How's that possible? Okay, for some reason, I think their father is dead. Their fathers, I think their fathers are dead. Um, so, Quinn Flanagan, right now, whom are we pregnant by? I forgot to look. Are we pregnant by Hugh? Have we gotten pregnant by Hugh? Because I'd like to invite him over so, just so that we're ready. I feel like we may have been, but... Oh, it was in the other... It was in the other place. Okay. So here we have not been impregnated by Hugh, but I don't know who's the father. Hugh Gray. Okay, we are, we are with Hugh Gray here. All right. So we're going to... Invite over Brendan O'Shea when she gets a little closer to her her poppin' time when that turkey timer is ready. You should go ahead and just sleep. No. No. Go sleep.
get some rest. You're not going to learn writing. Maybe charisma skill. I do have some more beautiful, beautiful fan art that I got on Twitter. I'm so sorry that I haven't put it on yet either. I'm just really sucking. I'm really blowing it. And I'm so sorry. You're all so amazing and patient and fantastic and wonderful. This is going to get back on a normal schedule. I don't know if it's because Laura's so many episodes ahead of me. I don't know if it's going to be on the same days anymore or if I'm just going to do it on different days. Let me know in the comments what days are best for you. Like if I were to switch to... Um, yeah, you can go over there. If I were to switch to like Saturday, Monday, Thursday or something like that. Um, I know because I know that a lot of you watch on Saturdays and things like that. So that would be... That would be nice. So just let me know what you think. Um, also, good news. I'm still using Fraps right now, but I have been able to purchase my capture card, the one that's so important, the one that's going to help me. And uh, I'm going to be installing that really soon. And I'm super excited because it was just, it's just amazing. It's so heartwarming. heartwarming. I wouldn't have been able to achieve it without the help and support of all of you and the money I'm able to make through YouTube, but also the, um, the just amazing, amazing support that I was shown by one viewer in particular who just sent me, you know, a few donations. Her name is Wendy Wooler. I mentioned her before. All of you were wonderful. I'm not saying that that's, that's not the case. Thank you so much. And please don't feel required to actually send me anything. But, but I just want to say thank you, especially to Wendy, because she, um, she almost single-handedly helped me pay for the capture card. And, and I'm so grateful. I'm so lucky. Um, and yeah, that being said, uh, I'm going to stop, stop being weird. But I'm, I'm truly, truly grateful. He wants to cast 10 spells. I don't want him to do that, though. Go ahead. All you kids, do your homework. Split up. Do your homework. So we are pregnant by Hugh Gray. Okay. Y'all know I love Sims named Hugh. Why aren't you drinking your plasma juice? You had one down here. Drink that. So you're not all wonky. Christian's learning the piano to be smarmy and spicy. Now, whom do we know that we can invite over? Martin Ames. John Fallon. We know a few different guys. Ooh, Martin is adorable, though. Invite over Martin. I think he's our maid. But that only makes things a little, uh, a little dirtier. Mostly because there are going to be things, if he comes over here and uh, does Luna... It's going to be kind of dirty in the house because he will not actually clean anything. <laughs> I wonder how long this wish enhancing serum lasts. It's probably like six to eight hours. I wish it didn't have that kind of limitation. How many hours are we along? Because she's really... I just kind of want to see if this works. She's really getting ready to uh, to pop. She's got the waddle. She's got the waddle. Um, 50 hours. Yeah, we're good. 50 hours. Um, so about 12 hours from now. It's about 6 a.m. Okay. So if we ever take it around 4 a.m. be nice if you could set a timer. Like, in-game. That would be awesome. Okay, so that guy didn't feel like coming over. But that doesn't mean that we can't have Brendan come over. And all the kids just run around and play. They have a good time. They live their lives. Um, sure, yeah. Come on over in a little while. You should do that. Do your homework. She's gonna eat. He's just playing. Do your homework. Do your homework. How do we get this lamp? How do we get this lamp? That's so weird. Do your homework. Do your homework. Is your guest here? Is he here? He should be. Did he just... Did he just walk on in? 
Cause that's that's kind of rude just to walk on in. How many more times can I say walk on in? Walk on in. Sit right down. Oh, there he is. Baby, let your mind go wild. Alright. Mira, come say hi to your gentleman caller. I mean, you're not actually going to get together, but uh, he's a, a caller and he's a gentleman, presumably. He doesn't seem much like a scumbag, so I think we're okay. And then, shoo, you need to eat. You need to eat. Don't take out the trash. Just come on here, have a quick meal of juice. And what's her relationship with Brendan? It's good. It's good. It's good. So drink that, and, uh... What can we do here? Um... Friendly... Let's ask him how to stay. Let's see how that's going. Christian, good. You're going to sleep. I was like, you are a mess. Go get some sleep. Don't be a mess. I am going to be sending her to the hospital. You know, I, I want to see. Actually, I'm not going to use the Wish Enhancing Serum this time. I really want to see if she's able to, um, to give birth to multiples. Because if she can't, we know we have the single baby glitch. We know we have a serious issue. Uh, and I really, I don't know where I'm going to go from there, but don't worry, we'll figure this out. I, um, I also am planning on maybe doing a, an, um, like restarting Four Mortal Sisters, finishing up a couple other LPs. I really want to get back to Secret Agent, um, and maybe doing Perfect Genetics. That's something I'm thinking about. But as many of you know, not to get back to like the, the donation thing, but as many of you know, I've mentioned I'm going to be starting a Patreon at the beginning of the year, probably, like right around then. And not only will I be doing, at a, at a very low donation level, like a couple dollars, I'll be doing a private LP just for donators. But um, I will also be offering, for a pretty reasonable donation, I'll be offering t-shirts, and it will have my current channel art, and then later on... Um, like each there are going to be seasons and then every once in a while there will be um yeah every once in a while there will be um new art like during each season so i'm being so spacey i'm being so spazzy it's weird it's really genuinely weird having to say this kind of thing ask this kind of thing it just it reaches a point where it becomes kind of it becomes kind of critical that I, um, I'm honest because it's, it's becoming difficult to manage what's, uh, what's going on. So I'm very sorry to even have to say anything. Ugh, I feel so scummy. Also, the, um, the fan fiction contest still was, uh, it's being sorted out. Simon and I are working on that. We have our first place winner. We've chosen our second and third. We're going to be reading them, um, reading them on air, but, uh, yeah. Yep, we're behind. We're way behind, and we kind of suck because of it. I'm so sorry. I hope this guy isn't a teenager. What are you doing there, baby boy? What are you doing there? Now, Toby, why did you have to go over there and piss off our dude? We were trying to get to know him. Nope, stay here. We are waiting. I think she definitely just needs a new formal outfit. I don't know. Maybe I'll load it up and we can do that now. Yeah, why not? Why not? Hopefully this doesn't crash my game. I'll be so annoyed if it does. But let's let's see. Um, cause I just I usually like to choose dresses that are kind of one piece. So we'll just choose a new formal outfit for her, and we'll make it a little bit different than what she normally wears. Although we won't go with the punk thing like we did with uh, the rest of them. God, she looks like her mother. And I'm going to keep her hairstyle like this for a little while. I really do like it. So let's bring this up. I think I need to reset the way that the outfits um, show up. Oh, no, we're good. She looks beautiful in this dress. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, So this is going to load. I will cut that out and be right back. Okay, so what I'd like to choose is something which is elegant, but that we're not going to be annoyed seeing her in all the time. 
She seems to really enjoy the long dresses, things like that. She looks lovely. This, like, Grecian number. This is nice, too. Um, that one makes her feet look really weird. I don't know what it is with that, but it makes her feet look super weird. Um, let's see. Yeah, because obviously she's in her formal wear a lot, so we want something that we're not going to, because we're going to see it all the time. So we want something where we're not going to go, oh god, she's wearing that again. Oh, that's beautiful. That makes her waist look so much tiny. She has the tiniest little waist. Oops, hi. Mm -mm. I do have some lovely dresses in here. This one is one of my personal favorites. I love the low back. That's the contender right there. Although the bottom clips really oddly when they walk in it, so maybe not. Um, definitely something elegant. No, that's too, that's too bridal. It's bridal, but that's beautiful. Um, no, I think that's going to be, yeah, I don't like that. Um, yeah, a lot of these are very bridal. Wow, beautiful though. This would be something up her alley, but uh, no, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sorry for those of you who may not be interested in this, but uh, I know many of you are. Oh, see, that really suits the fairy thing. That is beautiful. That's lovely, too. That's, uh, that's like a modern Marilyn kind of thing. I keep looking at these bridal ones. No. Stop it, April. This one clips on the bottom, but is a beautiful dress. Um, I like this one, too, with the snowflakes. It should be something akin to what she would normally... Like, it should be something floral. She's a fairy now. She obviously appreci uh, preach appreciates things which harken back to nature and all of that. This is a lovely dress, too. That's beautiful. Now, these are gorgeous, but it would get annoying to see her in that all the time. Oh, pretty. Oh, you know what? I love this dress. I love this dress. So we're going with this one. Um, But we're going to put her in a cream. Let's see. I don't know. I don't want it to be pure white. I do want it to be cream. But that's a little too yellow for me. There we go. Perfect. There's my gorgeous girl. Yay. God, she looks like her mother. Wow. Okay, so that's going to load before I can exit uh, Create a Sim, so I will be back again. Okay, so we're done. We're back. Wow, yeah, she looks great in that. She looks really, really nice in that. If I can... Hi. Don't be a butt face. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so dumb. I love fashion. Recently, I've been a little bit healthier than I have been, so I've been able to wear more colors, do all kinds of things, which I'm excited to have been able to do. It's, um, it's getting better. It's getting better all the time, as the Beatles would say. So, okay, what I'm going to do is that was the timer. I'm going to stop this episode. I don't want it to get too long. I wanted to explain something, though. Uh, I Again, I was talking about the Patreon thing. I was talking about, oh, my God, the donations. And aside from that, in this episode, I, wanna, I want to explain something else. I'm going to link a video in the, the down bar. And um, I'm going to try to remember. And I'm going to link it in the annotations, I think. And what it is, is a video to the Game Theorist's uh, YouTube um, subscriber burnout page and things like that, or a video. What it does is it explains, and I'm going to explain it now, what it does is it explains how YouTube calculates whom they should be showing these things to. So when... When I make a video that sort of gets scrolled by, which I know I haven't been making a lot of Sims things, so I understand. But when when subscribers scroll by my video, YouTube eventually thinks, okay, I'm not going to show that to them. And that's fine, because like I said, I haven't been making as much in terms of Sim stuff. So I want to get back to doing more Sim stuff and, and still continuing the other series and things like that. But I'm going to have to upload a little bit less for a while so that people don't get burned out and have too much content. 
So the thing that you can all do, which helps me the most, and I know most of you do this, many of you do this, and I know that I've I've been terrible at about uh, terrible about answering back comments. That's something I want to get back into. I'm going to have Kenny help me and things like that. But commenting is really super helpful. Commenting lets YouTube know that you're watching and engaging and interested. And then giving the video a rating, a like or a dislike, whatever you want is fine. That also lets YouTube know how much you're enjoying it. Uh, another thing that you can do is favorites. That's super helpful. I hate asking for all of this stuff. I really, really do. But this time of year is very difficult for YouTubers in general. And because of The Sims 4, subscribe or subscriptions have been way, way down um, for most everybody. And uh, it's reaching a point where you know, if I if I am unable to make enough money from this, I'm going to have to stop relatively soon because my disability won't be able to continue and I, I need that. So, I mean, I'd still, once my contract's over, I'd still be able to occasionally make content for all of you, but I wouldn't be able to keep on top of getting new games and things like that and getting new Sim stuff. So, it's just something to keep in mind. I don't want to guilt you. I don't want you to worry. If you can't donate, if you... If you don't feel like commenting, if you have nothing you really want to say, that's fine. That's absolutely cool. I just figured I would explain to you how it works because the more you like, share, favorite, um, comment, what's going to happen is that my videos are going to show up regularly in your feed. It's going to make sure you know exactly when a video of mine comes out. And aside from that, it will encourage YouTube to push my videos in the featured items and on other people's feeds. So just asking. It's cool if not. I appreciate everything you all do. You're all wonderful and amazing. And I cannot thank you enough. So take care. I will see you in the next video. Bye.